On today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Jada Toys Batman v Superman die cast medals Bruce Wayne Batman. Actually, Bruce Wayne Batman basically just means that he's unmasked, as you see Bruce Wayne's head finally underneath. It looks roughly about the same sort of figure, although I feel like the costume is a little shinier than the previous release. It is caution heavy, as I've already realized quickly. Because I had these guys on my shelf for a while, but I haven't really taken them down. I just kind of walk into my office from time to time, admiring the stuff that's on the shelf there. And I, had, I forgot how heavy these were until I started looking at the next wave, which was the Wonder Woman. And uh, they do have a good bit of weight to them. This is product code M13. Uh, as for the back of the package, the new figures from this wave consist of Bruce Wayne Batman, Aquaman, Desert Batman, or Nightmare Batman, and Wonder Woman. And then we've pretty much had a look. We ran the gambit on the other figure releases that they've done, which slightly are just variations to one another with mostly just like a color swap. So like M1 and M5 Batman are the same. M5 Batman just has a darker color scheme. Same thing can be said for Batman and uh, or for Superman here, Wonder Woman, Armored Batman. And then there was also a two pack as well. To check out more from the folks over at Jada Toys, be sure to head over to www.jadatoys.com. You can see the whole range of things that they are releasing. A lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. Uh, Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, however, we're getting a better look at the Bruce Wayne Batman. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Now that we got the Bruce Wayne out of packaging, let's get a better look at the figure. I really love this guy. Now, I equally loved the cowled Batman as well, but I like that we get an unmasked version of Batman here in a die-cast figure release. He's super stylized, a little bit smaller in design than maybe like some of the taller collectibles out there. The solid black eyes are a nice touch as well. I love his angry expression on his face. Bruce Wayne is not happy at all. But touching base or touching a point I mentioned earlier, it does look like his outfit is a shinier gray versus the original release. He still has the gold utility belt, the gold gauntlets on the sides of his gloves, as well as the, the gold knuckles, I guess the kind of the metal knuckles on his gloves. Also loving the fact that his collar is higher. Like, I'm not sure how the, the cowl basically, from, from like the looks of it, it looks like the cowl just basically comes right off as a separate piece as opposed to being a collared uh, shoulder piece cowl. You can kind of get some idea of that, of how the cowl would have been attached to the back of his cape. Speaking of the cape, it's a very durable plastic. In fact, it's actually one of the only pieces on him uh, that feel like it's plastic. Everything else feels really heavy. A consistent trend with the J Jada Toy releases. Speaking of Jada Toy releases, here is the Wonder Woman that we've already had a look at. They are of a good scale to one another. Batman's just a little bit taller, or Bruce Wayne's just a little bit taller. I, uh, I also quite like how the Bat Emblem, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the other review as well, how the Bat Emblem is a raised section versus the rest of his torso. This also makes me think, hopefully, maybe Jada Toys will also give us like a Clark Kent, kind of keeping to that theme of an unmasked hero. Superman, of course, not be more unmasked. He would actually have more a disguise on. But uh, maybe, you never know. Maybe we'll actually see a Clark Kent Jada Toys release. I think that would be very cool. Um, above and beyond that, I don't know if they're going to be giving us more Batman v Superman stuff. I hope so, because I love these little guys. They're also releasing a ton of Marvel stuff as well, so uh, I'll be doing reviews of those if you guys want to stay tuned for that. Very happy. I like the Bruce Wayne. I think he turned out quite nice. It's a good contrast to the masked Batman that we've already had a look at. Oh, posability, by the way, just before we go off topic here. Posability on Batman or Bruce Wayne. He just swivels at the waist. Which I think at the time that I did the review of Wonder Woman, I thought they had posability in the head, but then it reminded me later that, no, they had posability just strictly in the waist. So you can kind of just get him slightly posed, if, unless you don't want to have him, well, if you don't want to have him necessarily standing straight forward. Other than that, no posability in arms, no posability in the head. 
But what draws me to this kind of collectible is that it's super stylized, it's super small, doesn't take up a lot, a lot of space on the shelf, although I do have a lot of the Jada toys on my shelf currently. But I quite like these little guys. Uh, hopefully we'll see more of them. They're expanding again to Civil War and stuff as well, so that's very, very cool. Today's collectible spot, though, we were having a look at the Bruce Wayne Batman from Jada Toys diecast line. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have even more toy spots and collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.